Right, this feels a bit weird, but um, we're back with another video. Bit of a different one today, boys. We're obviously outside in a different environment, but I wanted to spice things up, you know? I wanted to go outside. Ever since the football, I haven't been outside much, but um, no, today's video, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, I'm gonna be reacting to your guys' questions. I asked you some questions over on Instagram. Link will be in the description if you wanna check it out. I've been planning to make this video for the last few days, but the weather's been terrible. Um, but here we are today. It's still not the great. It's been raining all day and it's been very windy, but um, we're gonna try and make this video anyways. But we're gonna get straight into this video. But yeah, football's back soon, so buzzing for that. Okay, so the first question is, if you could re-sign any player from the last five years, who would it be? Now, a lot of players come to mind here. Like, we've had some great players throughout the years. Kwesi Paya, obviously not in the last five years. But in the last five years, I'd like to see McGrandles come back. I really enjoyed McGrandles. He was a really good player. Um, Mullin, obviously, I'd love to see back, obviously, because he's literally the greatest striker we may have ever had. Um, but also, I'd, it's, a, it's a controversial one, but I'd like to see Giovanni Brown back. Obviously, not now with all the uh, reports on Giovanni Brown. However, he's a great footballer and he did really well for us in the season he was here. So, Giovanni Brown, I'd like to see back at the Abbey. So, question number two was, how old were you when you started supporting Cambridge? It's very windy right now. But, um, no, I've been supporting Cambridge since I was a, a young boy. Um, there's many pictures. I'll put some pictures on the screen of me supporting Cambridge when I was a kid. Obviously, I was there at Wembley when we did win 4-0 against Gosport. Honourable mentions from the last question, Luke Berry and Ryan Donaldson. But no, I've been supporting Cambridge a lot of my life, um, if not most of my life. I've been supporting them from however old I can remember, really. But um, no, I've been supporting them for quite a while. Um, I haven't, I'm not one of them fans that have just come back since we've been in League One. Um, I've been supporting the team for quite a long time now, so. Favourite CUFC memory? Now, a lot come to mind, obviously, beating Borough at home last season. What a result that was. And uh, that probably kept us up, I'm not gonna lie to you. Also, Newcastle away, although I wasn't there, it was still a special moment between Cambridge fans and the players, so. Newcastle away is an honourable, honourable mention. Gutted I wasn't there, still to this day, it, it pains me that I weren't there, but. Um, yeah, I couldn't go due to COVID, but it is what it is. Hopefully we'll get another day like that, but um, I'll be waiting a while, I reckon. Opinions where Cambridge will finish this season. Now, obviously I've been quite quiet on this channel due to the next season upcoming. Um, I will be making a video on my predictions soon, maybe in the next week or so, maybe two weeks. Um, so I'm not gonna say a position now, I'm gonna save that for the video, but um, I hope we stay up, I hope we do well. Um, we've signed a few players. We've got Gazana Hadme, he's just come in. Obviously, we've got a few players back. We've got Adam May back from injury. We've got Saku Jana back from on loan at Wimbledon. We've just signed a few new players as well. Obviously, releasing our main squad at the end of last season was not ideal. However, the rebuild is coming. It's coming, boys, I'm telling you. Rate the new home shirt. Now, the home shirt, I had mixed reviews when it came out, um, but it's set in a little bit and I quite like it. The away one obviously come out today as of filming this video. Um, and I really like the away shirt, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I might get both on the back of that one, I'm not gonna lie. I think I will get both in the end, but um, yeah, I really do like the home shirt. But the away one is probably my favorite out of the two. Um, goalkeeper shirts I'm not a fan of, but it is what it is. Um, but no, I, I like the home shirt and I think it will grow on me even more throughout the season. The away day I'm looking forward to most. Now, a lot stand out. Obviously, you've got some new away days in there, like Leighton Orient, Northampton, Stevenage, Reading. But the main one that sticks out for me is Blackpool. Um, I can't wait for Blackpool. Uh, we'll definitely do a weekend in Blackpool for that one. And what a vlog that will be. We're planning that for Fleetwood as well. So uh, that will also be a very interesting weekend. But Blackpool, I'm looking forward to going to Bloomfield Road. I've heard a lot about their fans. It's a nice stadium, it's a good club. I'm looking forward to going up to Blackpool, no doubt. If you could go to Europe with Cambridge, who would it be and why? Now, this is an unreal question. Obviously, Barcelona, Real Madrid, they're the ones that stick out the most. However, I'm gonna go with Dortmund. I think to see Cambridge play at Dortmund would be unbelievable. That wall that Dortmund have, to see that in person would be unreal, I think. I want to experience it one day with Cambridge or without Cambridge. It'll probably be without Cambridge, let's be real. But Dortmund is definitely a stadium I want to visit um, in the next year or two, definitely. 
Um, yeah, I really like Dortmund, so I'm, I'm going to say Dortmund on this one, mate. Best away day I've done. In terms of results, it's an easy one for me, really. Wigan away on Easter Monday two seasons ago. We didn't bring a lot of fans. We took about 400, I believe. Um, but when we went 2-0 up, I was like, am I dreaming or is this real? I don't know. But as soon as we went 2-0 up, I was living my best life. It was, <laughs> it was nuts. None of us expected it. Wigan were top of the league at the time. Um, so no one expected us to beat Wigan, and we did, and it was unbelievable. Yeah, we made a good atmosphere considering there was only about 400 of us there. So, yeah, I really enjoyed Wigan away. Now, this is also a very good question. What got me into football vlogging? Now, to be honest, I tried it a lot when I was a kid, going down the Abbey, vlogging the games. However, I didn't see many views, so then I'd stop. And then, obviously, being in school, it was tough um, with people judging me, filming... It's, it's still not great. Like, I still get people judging me here and there. Like, filming at a football game, it's not really... It's not great. Like, I love what I do. Don't get me wrong. I love what I do. But the looks that you get off of some people, the, the snidey comments you get off of some people, it's not fun. It's not great. But it's a thing in life that's going to happen. Not everyone's going to enjoy what you do. Not everyone's going to like you. So, I'd say... Thogden and Villa on tour I think got me into football vlogging over the last two years I was watching a few of them videos and I was like I want to be like them one day I want to because Cambridge didn't really have a vlogger at the time and I was like this could be my opportunity to snatch um, and I snatched it up I started my first vlog chilling them away we did lose 1-0 but ever since then I've been posting consistently week in week out going to the Cambridge games home and away and I've really enjoyed uploading these vlogs for you guys and next season the content's going to get 10 times better just you wait I'm going to put more effort into it now that I've got no school no college to worry about more effort's going to go into the videos and they're just overall going to be a better watch for you guys if you had to change your past result what would it be now a lot stand out uh posh away obviously I'd love to have won that game but we didn't um but definitely the one that stands out the most is Fleetwood away um, it was a Tuesday night, it was a 1-0 loss, it was cold in the 88th minute and Sam Smith missed an open goal in the last kick of the game so I definitely would change that result if I could. Best home fans I've seen all season. Now, I only missed one away game and it was Oxford and I don't think Oxford have great home fans so it definitely wouldn't be them but um, Plymouth Argyle definitely had brilliant fans this season. Um, yeah, it, it was probably helping that they were going to win the league. Um, but their fans were just phenomenal. The atmosphere, the noise, it was just, it, was, it blew me away, to be honest with you. I kind of expected it from Home Park, but um, I didn't expect it to be that loud. Um, but yeah, Plymouth Argyle definitely had the best home fans in the league last season. <laughs> Rate Harrison Dunk. Now, uh, I've always been a fan of Dunk. I've always loved him when he played on the wing. And he did his little trademark step over to the byline, cross it in, someone scores. I've always loved him when he does that. But um, yeah, he's definitely an unbelievable player. He was a key player in our survival success last season. Obviously, the goals against Posh. I think he deserves a statue just for that goal, let alone. But um, I'll never forget Omelu's run against Dunk. That's beautiful. That's why I love him so much, because Omelu absolutely despised him. And uh, he, he was uh, proven to be a key player in our survival. So I find that hilarious. Um, but yeah, I love Dunk. Rate Dunk, I'll give him a 9 out of 10. I think he's a phenomenal player. Obviously, he's not he's a bit past his time now, but um, he's still a great, crucial player that we could bring on off the bench if we need to uh, bring him on. Where do I see Cambridge United in 20 years? Now, obviously, this is a hard question because you can't really put in perspective where they'll be in 20 years. But I'd, I'd like to say League One or higher. But um, my heart doesn't. I don't think we will. But uh, anything could happen. Anything could happen. You don't know what can happen with your club. It's so hit and miss. Um, but I'm going to go championship. I feel optimistic. Um, obviously, I want to be optimistic in this situation. But I'm sorry, boys. Camera stopped filming. Ah, sit back down on this absolute rubbish bench, which is definitely abandoned. But who will be the U's top goal scorer this season? Hmm. Now, there's a lot of players that could be. Obviously, we've... Um, we've let our prolific goal scorers go Joe Ironside, Sam Smith, Harvey Nibs They've all departed the club Gone to other clubs um, So I'd like to see Janna I'd love to see Janna get a lot of goals He's got a special relationship with the fans um, The fans absolutely love him 
So if he scored 20 plus goals this season, I would be more than happy. And I think he can, you know, I think he deserves more game time because um, he's a phenomenal player. He just needs a bit more confidence and he'll be up there. So I'm going to go Saku Janna to score 20 plus goals this season. Okay, last question. It's not really a question, but uh, it says, best Cambridge vlogger, keep it up. I appreciate all the love and support on the channel for the last two years. Obviously, we're going to be coming back this season bigger, better and stronger. So make sure you're on the channel for that. I don't know. I just had a random noise. I am in a random field, by the way. I'll pick up my tripod and show you. But I am just like in a random place. So anything can literally happen to me at any point. Like, I don't know where I am. I'm just, I'm just here. I'm just chilling. But no, I think this is a good note to end the video on, to be honest. But um, yeah, I just want to thank you guys so much for the support over the last few years on the channel. It's been greatly appreciated, obviously. Hitting 2,000 subscribers is what I've always dreamed of as a kid, you know, getting a lot of subscribers on YouTube. So I just want to thank you for that. Um, yeah, so what a season last season was. Thank you so much for the questions. You can go ask some more in the future, probably, when I do another one of these on Instagram. Link will be in the bio. Link will be in the description to go follow my Instagram. But um, no, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a bit of a different video, but um, I thought I'd just get out here and uh, do a little video for you guys as I haven't really done a video on the channel for over a month and it wasn't Cambridge United related. So I just want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the new season. Cheerio.